Hi everyone, I am Givagis from Cisco Support Community. In this video, we will go through the installation and integration of UCCX with CUCM. This is a continuation of deployment of virtual mission on UCS server using OVA template for UCCX. Following is the URL for that video. Here we have obtained the UCCX ISO file and we have stored it on the ESXi data store. The ISO file is connected to the VM and when the VM is powered on, the installation of UCCX begins. Press OK on the UCCX installation screen. Click S to proceed with the install. Here you can press Enter to proceed with the wizard or press Tab key and select Skip to proceed to the new configuration. Here we select No so that no patches are applied during the time of install. Press Enter to continue. Use the up and down arrow to select the correct time zone. Select Tab and press OK. Select S and press Enter on automatic negotiation of Ethernet NIC. Select No to change the MPU size and press Enter. In the static network configuration window, enter the host name, IP address, subnet mask, default gateway and press tab and press OK. In the DNS client configuration window, click tab key, select no and press enter. In the administrator, administration login configuration window, enter the administrator ID enter the password and confirm password click tab and press enter enter the appropriate information for the certificate information and click tab and press ok press enter if it is the first node of the cluster in the network time protocol client configuration window enter the IP address of the NTP server and press enter in the security configuration window enter the password and confirm it so that nodes can communicate with each other within the cluster. In the SMTP configuration, select No and press Enter. Enter the application username, enter the password for the application user, confirm it and click on Tab and press Enter. Now the platform configuration is complete. Select OK and press Enter. Select this UCM as the type of UCCX deployment since we are going to integrate UCCX with UCM. From this point it may take around 40 minutes for to complete the installation so I am going to stop the video and resume the video at the end of installation. Once the installation is over, we will be prompted to the login screen. Now we are going to open the internet browser and enter the IP address that we have assigned while installing UCCX slash app admin. Here you need to enter the application username and password that you have given while installing UCCX and click login. Since it's a fresh install, you have to select the radio button, fresh install and click next. Now you need to enter the IP address of CUCM publisher, the AXL username, which is nothing but an application user with the AXL API user role and the password. Once you enter that, the UCCX will try to contact the CUCM. Here you need to click on browse and select the license file which Cisco has emailed you and click next. This will prompt you for a window where all the components get activated. Now you can click next and on the publisher activation window also you can click next. 
this will open a window where you need to configure three major subsystems for UCCX to work. First is AXL service provider configuration. Here you are going to define which call manager publisher is used to connect the UCCX along with the AXL username and password. Next is the CM telephony subsystem where in CUCM if you go under device CTA ports the user which you create here manages those CTI ports in UCM and the JTAP triggers. Here you are going to create a user named UCCX and giving the credentials. So once you create this in UCCX, a JTAP user will be created in UCM with the help of AXL API. Now we will see the RMCM subsystem which controls the interaction between agents with UCCX. Here we are going to give the username as RMCM user and the password and uh, click next. This will populate the data what we have entered to the UCM. We will see the languages configuration window. In this we have to select the language what is being used for interactive voice response. We can also select the country specific, the CAD CST language specification and uh, click next. And finally the user configuration window. Here you can see the available CUCM end users. Move those CUCM end users that you want to log in as the UCCX administrator that is the app admin page and once you click finish it will give a setup result information of what you have done. I hope the information provided in this video was useful. Do post your comments and feedback on what videos you would like to see on Cisco support community. Thank you.